everybody that I know that has been down for years, this is our first year down, so it's a great event. We have a good time, meet a lot of people, see a lot of nice cars. It's fun to be a kid again. You know, it was when you were little, you didn't have it. Now you got it and you overdo it. Overdone in all shapes, colors, and sizes, more than 4,200 pre-1949 street rods will be cruising around the York Fairgrounds for the three-day street riders convention. The early arrivals already have set up their campers and tents at the choice spots, namely those under shade trees. Meanwhile, any latecomers needing hotel rooms might be out of luck. Street rotting at its best, the biggest and best we've ever had. Our theme is fun in 91 for the National Street Rot Association. Your county tourism officials and businesses which cater to the street rotters have good reason to look forward to the group's annual visit. The largest show of its kind in the east has its economic benefits. Well, it means a lot. Uh, economically, it, uh, we're using a conservative figure of about three and a half million. But the cars are the main reason so many people attend the convention. The street rods have a collective value of over $71 million. Despite what organizers say, street riding may not be for everyone. It's an expensive hobby. They say $10,000 will get you on the road, $15,000 will get you comfortable, but $25,000 will get you this. Why is it worth it? different a hobby gives you something to do keeps you off the street keeps you broke <laughs> one way to put it the annual street riders convention in york was a big part of the resurgence of tourism in the york area in the 1990s it's continued to be a popular event in the community to this day who was that handsome young man ron martin do you like his hairline i you do think? 